Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, today we're checking out a beer sent to me by my beer bro, Eric, from Blackboard Beer Reviews. Check out his channel. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. This is uh, from Toppling Goliath. This is Naughty 90, and it's oaked. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I think the only oaked beer I've ever had in my entire life was Oaked Arrogant Bastard from Stone, and that was so long ago that I do not recall what it was. Um, I do know this is an English-style IPA, which, again, truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, English-style IPAs that I've always had have been really, really malty, and I'm more of the crazy, hoppy uh, IPA fan. Not a big fan of malty beers. For IPAs, I like, I don't mind malty barley wines, obviously, but like for IPAs, I like crazy, juicy, hoppy IPA. So English style IPAs are a style I usually stay away from, but Eric sent this out of the kindness of his heart, so I figured I would do a review on it. He did a review on it, it was a while ago, I think it was like a month or so ago, so check out his review. I don't know if there's any other reviews on YouTube um, for this beer. But yeah, Toppling Goliath, Decorah, Iowa, amazing, amazing beers they make. Um, King Su, their most recent batch that I reviewed, one of my favorite beers of the year, amazing. <clears throat> Pseudo Su, amazing. Um, they just had their Morning Delight release the other day, which that beer is stupid good. They, they're they just, Mike's king of like barrel aged beers, SR71, Assassin, all those, all those beers are just stupid good. So I'm actually looking forward to this one. Um, says packed with hops on a 90 minute schedule and uniquely malted and aged on a bed of oak. So it'll be kind of fun to figure this beer out. Like I said, I don't uh, I don't drink oak beers. I don't drink a lot of English style IPA, so it'll be fun. Cool little Toplin Goliath bottle cap too. So let's check this one out. Wow, this is really really murky. <laughs> it almost looks like a barley wine. Did we say what the ABV was on this? I don't. Does it say? I don't know what the ABV on this is. I don't know why they don't have ABVs on their bottles. It's crazy. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the title of the video but um yeah that is just gnarly looking holy shit that looks like disgusting bath water from when my kids play like in the mud and then they take a shower <laughs> it is like a brown just gross gnarly almost barley wine looking beer there is no head with that pour either by the way um looks like todd the, <laughs> todd the axe man just a tiny little bit of ring of head and that's it um, I cannot see it. I mean, this is so murky. I can't see anything through it. I can't tell what the carbonation's like. Just um, rolling it around in the glass. There's some bubbles that come up to the top of that, but it, uh, yeah, that's not the best looking beer I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's stick our nose in it. Wow. Holy crap. This smells like campfire. I get more like smokiness than <clears throat> than oakiness. Tons and tons and tons of like uh, caramel and toffee. But yeah, this um, wow, that's very interesting smelling. Maybe that's the oak that's giving off that smoky aroma. But it is, it literally smells like when you're sitting around a campfire like roasting marshmallows. It smells like that. It's kind of hard to get like a lot of aroma out of this. But yeah, oaky, smoky, um, toffee, caramel. I don't get, oh, I don't know what this is hopped with. I don't really get any hop aroma, if we're being honest. This is just overpowering, like, smoky, like, it's like having a log on a fire. That's crazy smelling. <laughs> That's actually very, very interesting. Like I said, going into this, I had no idea what to expect, and this is... This is crazy. So yeah, I'm actually interested to see what it tastes like. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and dig in, Eric. Thank you, sir. Cheers. I get like immediately in my brain, like burnt toffee. It's definitely oaky, woody, earthy, um, and it is bitter, middle of the mouth, which I like. 
um, and that bitterness kind of lingers, but I'm getting like burnt toffee. That smoky flavor definitely falls in those. Um, it definitely tastes woody. Wow, <laughs> that's really, this is very strange. It's weird because I actually don't hate this. I wasn't expecting to hate it. Um, but on the bottle it says oaked ale. I don't know what to really, I mean, I guess it is an ale, like an old ale. That is very woody, very oaky, very smoky, very caramely, very toffee-like, burnt toffee. Nice bitterness. I don't know what the IBUs on this are. There's no information on these bottles, which sort of bothers me, just because I don't know what the fuck I'm drinking. And with me, as you guys know, I don't like to look stuff up ahead of time, so I don't know the ABV. I don't know the IBUs. This is really bitter, though. I, I would say the IBUs are up there. This is a high, I don't know, 90s probably IBUs. It's really, really bitter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd imagine like if you were, like I'm trying to think of something that would be what I'm tasting. And the only thing I can imagine is when you go camping and you put a marshmallow on a stick and roast it and then eat it and you'll like bite too far into a marshmallow and you get kind of like the the part of the stick like on in your teeth or on your tongue. It reminds me of that, it's very woody. So saying that it's oaked, that's definitely there. So this label is not lying. <laughs> It is definitely oaky, woody, earthy, smoky, caramel, toffee, bitter. Very bitter. Very, very bitter beer, which I like. I like bitter beers. Um, definitely a fun beer to try. This is not a beer that I would seek out. This is not a beer that I would probably buy. Um, I'm just not into this style of ales. Um, but definitely a fun beer to check out. Fun kind of like new beer to, to taste and see what my palate could figure out with this. Again, I probably, I, it seems like I'm rambling and can't really put my finger on what exactly I'm tasting because I'm just not used to drinking beers like this, but I think like that smoky kind of campfire woody descriptor is the best that I can come up with. Which reminds me of like a stone barley wine or like their double bastard, like, but that's what it reminds me of. I'm trying to, it's weird, it's very perplexing. This beer is very perplexing. Um, no idea what this beer gets. I mean, I don't drink beers that are this style. I mean, if I'm giving this a numeric rating, probably like, I mean, it's a well-made beer. It's just not the style that I like, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. Um, I mean, B plus for me, 88. Definitely interesting stuff. I mean, something, just to give yourself like a nice little change up in the beer world, check this beer out. I mean, Toppling makes awesome beer. So, if I was in uh, if I was in the Midwest, I mean, I would definitely be supporting them by buying all their beers and tasting them. But yeah, Oaked Naughty Ninety, interesting, interesting beer. That's the best way to describe it. Very interesting, very smoky, very bitter. I'm gonna look up the IBUs on this. This has to be high. It's really bitter. Even talking, the bitterness is lingering on my tongue. But. Fun stuff, Eric, bro. Thanks so much for uh, sending this. Check out Eric's channel. John and uh, Eric do awesome reviews. They're my beer bros, so I'll do a link to his channel. Check them out, subscribe, like all their videos, comment on them, all that good stuff. So I'm out here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've had uh, if you've had Oak Naughty Ninety, let me know what you think. It's it's interesting stuff. Kind of wondering if people get the same kind of like weird campfirey, woody, um, burnt kind of caramel thing that I'm getting. So. I'm gonna go back and watch Eric's review too, just to see how our tasting notes matched up. Interesting, interesting stuff. So I'm out here. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.